If you're a passenger for Uber or Lyft, you might be like John Travolta in Pulp Fiction, looking around, trying to find the intercom. The big question is, where are all the drivers? Hey everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to the Rideshare Guy. And today we're going to be answering the question, is there a driver shortage and where have the drivers gone? So let's answer the first question first. Is there a driver shortage? Yes, there is a big driver shortage. And that's going to lead into the next question of where have all the drivers gone and how come they're not coming back as quick as what riders want to use the service for? Because ridership demand has come back very strong as everything is starting to reopen, but drivers are not coming back as quick. And there's several reasons why that's happening. Let's break it down, though. Now, we're going to talk about three of the main reasons why drivers aren't coming back as quick. Now, there are more than three reasons why drivers aren't coming back, but the bulk reasons why drivers aren't coming back will fall into one of these three categories. We'll cover a couple of the other ones that have a slight impact and some reasons why drivers aren't coming back to the platform, but we're going to cover those first three, which are the majority of the reasons why. Now, the first one is the big elephant in the room, and that's unemployment and also the Paycheck Protection Program. And many drivers who applied for these types of assistance programs have some money coming in, helping them pay bills and not need to immediately work at all or work in a full-time capacity. While they could make money driving rideshare or delivery, many drivers weigh the expenses versus earnings and are finding that it's not worth it. And with that being said, many drivers are stating that most of the unemployment is taking care of their expenses. Now, they might not be making as much or they might not be making nearly enough to do this long term. They're making enough where they don't have to go out and work and that they can stay home, that they can enjoy, and they don't have to worry about these entitled passengers that kind of ruin it for some drivers. Now, the second reason is still COVID concerns. So drivers are having issues sitting in confined spaces with passengers. The mask mandate is a huge thing and anything that could be COVID related. And then the third reason is more competition between gig apps that are pulling drivers to those apps versus Uber and Lyft. So other gig services like DoorDash and Instacart have exploded over the last year, and there's more competition than ever for different gig workers. So many drivers out there who made the switch to taking delivery of food or packages are enjoying that better because, as I said in the beginning, some of the entitled riders, drivers don't want to deal with. And also just being in close confined quarters as well could be another reason. So many drivers went to food delivery and pretty much stay there because they're enjoying it. So now again, those are the three main reasons why drivers aren't coming back. Now, a couple of the other reasons, the big one also is gas prices are rising, rates are not, and in some cases, some rates have actually decreased when it comes to how much a driver is making out on the road. Now, the only thing though, when it comes to gas being a possible reason why drivers aren't coming back is, this is more relatively new in terms of how much gas has gone up over the last couple of months versus the last year. So that is kind of a mute point also when it comes to how much money drivers are actually making because they're netting more per hour or per shift or per week, depending on how they're calculating their earnings, but they are earning more overall. Now, the big thing is that won't last because as drivers do come back on the platform, as Uber and Lyft are loosening the purse strings per se and trying to attract drivers to come back on the platform and stay on their platform, you're going to start seeing this driver shortage and rider demand come back to an equilibrium. And then the amount that drivers are making is going to go back to where it was pre-pandemic. Now, there's a lot of things where people are talking about the roaring 20s and how after the Spanish flu in 1918 caused a huge uptick in many people going out and having fun, which we could see something like that. So there could be a bigger demand post-pandemic than there was pre-pandemic, which could be good for drivers as drivers will start making more money. And before I get into what some drivers have to say, I want to hear what you have to say. So make sure you comment below whether you continue driving through the pandemic, whether you took off, if you plan to come back, what it'll take, 
and what are the reasons why you haven't come back if you aren't driving. So now let's take a look at some of the drivers sharing their thoughts on this whole driver shortage. So let's see what Lisa said from Pennsylvania sharing her reasons why she's driving less. And essentially it came down to low pay for drivers. She stated, I drove for Uber during the pandemic and while I enjoyed it much more during the pandemic as traffic noise and pollution were much abated, now that things are getting back to normal, I'm liking it less and less. Uber has reduced driver's pay by constantly taking more and more of the fare. Rides are also becoming more burdensome as I'm regularly being sent on a 20 minute pickup with no long pickup fee. Now let's take a look at Doug from Dallas, Texas, where he's sharing his thoughts on why he left rideshare driving for delivery, also because of the low driver pay. He stated, I didn't receive any unemployment, but switched to delivery driving, which is Uber Eats and Amazon, figuring I wouldn't contact enough people to get exposed. When the lockdown ended, tips and orders reduced greatly. Pay was not enough. I tried UberX again, but passengers were few and not well-paying. And I was uneasy about safety. Now that Doug is back to delivering with Uber Eats, Amazon, and Corner Shop Grocery, he got his vaccine and put a shield in the car, and that helps him feel more safe. And lastly, let's look at Belinda from Portland stated driver pay was simply not enough to keep her with her driving expenses. She said, I felt the total balance sheet was definitely not in my favor. When I added up gas, wear and tear on the car, it wasn't worth it. And also some other drivers are using unemployment assistance to pursue other flexible work. So Frank in Milton, Alabama shared he isn't driving because he's pursuing other job plans including notary service, marriage documentation, and field service work. So now that we talked about the few reasons why drivers aren't coming back to the platform as quick, let's talk about what it means for riders. Well, riders who are looking for rides on the app are going to realize that they might not be as reliable as it once was. This will come to an end over the next several months, but it's going to take time as drivers are not coming back as quick. So this is going to lead to longer wait times, and it could also be a potential thing where you might not get a ride at all. You might see currently unavailable when you pull up your order screen. And it could be unreliable to the point where if you have to go somewhere, say the airport for a flight, you might wanna make sure you schedule a ride first, and even then it might not be guaranteed. So you wanna make sure that you plan accordingly depending on where you have to go. Now let's talk about one last question and that is how long will this driver shortage last? Well, it could vary and will vary market to market. So it could be something where some markets are going to see a driver shortage for the next several months going into maybe next year while other markets might see something much quicker. And I put out a poll recently asking when you think the driver shortage is gonna end and most responders said when unemployment ends. So they think that when drivers are done with unemployment, they're going to have to come back to the platform as they're going to need more money. So it's only a matter of time to see because what, 23 states I think now have either limited or ended the PUA, which is that extra $300 a week. So only a matter of time is going to tell if that's going to be the true case or did drivers just move on? And that leads me to my final question I have for you. And that is, how long do you think that the driver shortage is gonna last? Comment below. And again, don't forget about answering those other questions. Are you a driver that continued driving? Have you switched it up in between? Are you struggling to come back to Uber and Lyft for whatever reason? Comment below. And wrapping up, one of the common threads between all this seems to be driver pay. If Uber and Lyft raised rates, you would have drivers coming back to the platform, staying on the platform, and probably much happier. Now, if you'd like to see pay rates rise in your area and in your market, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you do, because there's several different videos coming out each and every single week that's going to help you maximize your earnings as a rideshare driver or a gig worker. All right, everyone, drive safe.